Hey everyone, it's Jordan. Today I'm going to be doing a Spring Rain book tag. I was tagged by, I, I don't remember who, but I'll link their video down below, and, and uh, as well as the original video down below. And the point of this tag is I'm um, talking about a lot of things um, that deals with ring and the spring, but enough talking, let's get started. Question 1. What are the books that you're most excited to read for the next few months? And I picked three for this one. I just have trouble picking all of them. But the first one is The Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. And the second one is um, Song of the Current by Sarah Tolsher. Yeah, and, and the last one is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. I don't own the book right now, but I'm going to get to it eventually. I'm just excited to read those books for the next few months, so yeah, those are the books that I picked. <laughs> Question two: uh, What book reminds you of spring? I picked *Wild Beauty* by Anna Marie McMillamore. Yeah, it's because it has flowers on the cover, and it kind of reminds me of spring a bit. <laughs> Question three: The days are getting longer. What is the longest book that you own? Yeah, Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. Do I have to explain this? I think this is the longest book that I have on my shelves just because it's, um, let me see, it's 900 pages? I, it's 800 or 900. I'm trying to remember. Um, yeah, it's about 800 pages, so do I have to explain this because I, I'm not big of a fan of Twilight as it is back then, but I still keep them because of all the good memories I have of them, even though the only time I would reread them if I make fun of Bella Swan. <laughs> Question 4. What books do you recommend to brighten someone else's day? I, I have done a bunch of book recommendation videos. I'll link them, all of them down below, even though one of them is about reading on a snow day, but they're still good recommendations, but I'm going to give you guys, like, three general book recommendations. One of them is Lost in a Book by um, Jennifer Donnelly. This is a, a Beauty and Beast book. I just thought I would pick something that relates to Disney because that always brightened my day and I would pick that book to brighten any el anybody else's day. And the next one I picked is A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin and um, and it's like Harry Potter, so I would recommend this for any Harry Potter fans out there. And the last one is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein because the movie just came out and some people might want to read it after seeing the movie. I have not seen the movie yet, but I love the book so much that I want to recommend it to everybody. <laughs> Question 5. Spring is also a time of growth. Think of a book that doesn't exist, but you wish it did. I it's really hard to pick a book that has n pick a story that does not exist but <laughs> I just like, want to read more about fairies just because they're my favorite magical tr creatures ever and, and of course you guys know that I'm a Peter Pan fan and especially Tinkerbell is my number one favorite Disney character so I honestly want um, books about fairies if you have any recommendations book recommendations that relates to fairies just let me know in the comments down Low, but I mostly want um, a, a story about mm, this is really hard so if it if there's um, like a book about like fairy godmothers for example like if there's a school about fairy godmothers I definitely would want to read that kind of s story I don't know there's just so many stories that I can't think of that I wish exists <laughs> how did your reign change over the years before BookTube, I was um, picky when it comes to books. I mostly would pay attention to the popular book series or books. I hardly touch um, unread books, but as I got older, I started reading more unread books, and um, I read more popular books that I have not read before. So, yeah, that changed a bit, and I kind of... Um, I didn't read a lot of dystopian, but once I get to high school, when I've read The Hunger Games, I started reading more dystopian, even though I've read, even though I've read, um, Sea of Amber, but I have not read, 
read the rest of the series, but that's technically the first dystopian book that I've read, but I did not read a lot of books, uh, the rest of the book series after that, but I'm planning on reading it when I'm in the mood for it, so yeah, my reign has changed a lot over the years. <laughs> Question 7. We are in a couple of months into the new year. How's your reign going? Going. <laughs> my reign... This is really surprising to me because I'm more than halfway through my reign goal. My reign goal is 50 books and I've read 29 books so far this year. It's crazy because I've counted the ones that I've read for my leisure classes because that counts as rain. That's not like cheating or anything, but it, it does count as rain. Don't argue it with me with that. But I don't think any of you guys would argue with me, but it's really surprising to me about how I'm more than halfway through my ring goal for this year. And it's, it's crazy. It's still blowing my mind to this day. I mean, who knows? I might read more than 50 books this year. <laughs> and the last question is, any plans you're looking forward to over the next few months. I'm actually going to a wedding with um, uh, with my boyfriend, who is um, one of his friends' weddings in Tennessee. So you're gonna see any, you're gonna be seeing um, a Tennessee vlog when it um, gets closer to that trip. That's not until June, so that's technically next month. But I'm looking forward to that, and I don't have any other plans that I'm looking forward to it and oh I'm taking summer classes so yeah that's also in the beginning of now I'm gonna be taking summer classes in the beginning of June so I might not be vlogging during my rain vlogs on Tuesdays and Thursdays because of my summer classes but yeah that's um the plans that I have for the next few months so that's all for the spring rain book tag people who I'm gonna be tagging I'll be Leave them in the description down below, and if you enjoyed this video, give this a thumbs up, and comment down below some of the books that you recommend to brighten anybody else's mood, because I love hearing about people's book recommendations for me, because I honestly would like to see, um, like if they know me for a while since I started my channel, they might have a lot of book recommendations for me, especially when I'm a big Peter Pan fan and being a Beast fan, and... And if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook on our Lost Rear, and I have Twitter and Instagram on Lost Rear 19. I have also Goodreads, so follow me there. And if you don't want to miss any of my new videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!